97.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Supplying every demand. On demand. Setting the bar, small examples of what not to do, okay? Uh, there are a lot of things that you should do. Sorry, there's one thing that you should do when you go to a porta potty. Ah, may- get the business done. Yeah, I mean, I take get that. In, get out. I take that back. Maybe there's more than one because a lot of people may <laughs> may use it to change, uh, or you know, like like uh, change uh, clothes or or something like that or, or whatever. Don't, don't do that. Those are not the cleanest places to do that. All right. Well, then you could just do it outside. Whatever. Uh, but again, okay. <laughs> setting the bar. Small example of what not to do. If you can manage to make it through the day without lighting a porta potty on fire, you're doing okay. And by the way, oh. if you happen to be within the sound of my voice and having just done that, the police would kindly like to talk to you because they have you on security camera. Uh, but Ooh. police are trying to identify the person who literally poured gasoline into a porta potty and lit it on fire last week. So- I get it. I mean, here's the thing. Those places can be very stinky. Yep. And isn't it like you go into the bathroom, you light a match or sometimes, <laughs> right? To get rid of the smell. Isn't that what you do, Ben Davis? Well, no, well, let me tell you. Let me Maybe tell we you. we shouldn't do that, though. I got to be honest, and I'm going to be personal here real quick. Uh, a lot of times, uh, since I have one bathroom in my house in a house full of women, uh, I will get matches thrown to me uh, from outside the door. So oh, well. lighting matches is a way of life in my house. For, uh-huh. for me, I should say. It's it's not reciprocal, but for me it is. So sure. I under I understand this guy mm-hmm. to some extent and and who's to say we're blaming the gasoline on igniting it? I mean, why wa- why aren't we looking at his diet and what maybe he he had for dinner the night before? Maybe. He's just trying to listen, he's just trying to protect others. By doing this, maybe, maybe he's maybe. like, he's like, man, no one's going to be able to use this for no, at least a good have to day and a half. <laughs> gonna have to start gonna, over. Gonna, this is not usable anymore. Gonna, <laughs> gonna have to cleanse this sucker. So, <laughs> so again, if you can manage. Oh, and by the way, by the way, the security camera found that he had a save a lot bag containing two boxes of cereal. Okay, so. There are questions as to the motive here. I, I'm thinking, as you are, that he just destroyed the porta potty so bad that he's like, "Man, I have got to." I'm going to save others. I have got to save others. The awful fate I just went through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so again, you know, stopped at the store, get some cereal on the way home. Yeah. Had to tend well, to business. I mean, that didn't work out well. Burn it down. Right. That was, I think, the progression. Maybe there you go. weren't there. Yeah, setting the bar. If you can manage to make it through the day without lighting a porta potty on fire, you're doing okay. <laughs>